Swimming World TV here with Katinka Hoshu. Full lineup of events again. How many swims did you do this weekend? Seven. Seven. You know, I only did seven because that's the rule. I can't do more. <laughs> she was actually like, I wish she could do more, but it was actually really nice to just focus on would a you few want, events. <laughs> would you want to do more? Uh, at this point of the season, I would like to do a few more. Uh, we use usually these swim meets to, to practice as well. Especially that it's it's only February, so we really need to get on the endurance and get the, the work in. You touched on that before that the meets are kind of like training. So I don't think people understand though how demanding your schedule is. So once you leave Orlando, what does the next two months look like? Uh, hopefully, I can tell you right now. Hopefully, I remember. Uh, tomorrow we are driving down to Miami. We have a free week training camp there, so we're really just focusing on training and. We're probably going to be training eight to nine hours a day, so it's going to be pretty tough. Uh, from there, we are going to back to Europe to uh, the second Golden Lanes uh, swim meet. It's going to be um, uh, in Paris, I believe. And then we're heading back to California for another training camp in San Francisco, another three weeks. And then we're going to hit the uh, Massa Grand Prix, going back to San Francisco, another three weeks of training. Uh, and then we're gonna go to Charlotte to Grand Prix and then going back to Hungary. And then <laughs> we're gonna go to Norway for another swim meet and then we have Mara Nostrum coming up, Hungarian Nationals, and then we're gonna be um, getting ready for Europeans. That's a pretty good memory. So you you must like to travel then. Yeah, I, I definitely like to travel. I mean, it's I feel like it's a little bit easier for me because you know my coach is my husband, so we travel together. So even when we're in a hotel, at least you know I'm I'm with someone who, who I, I love and I feel like I'm home with him. So for me, it's it's really fun to to travel and you know just be all over the place. Um, you know, swimming sometimes can be pretty boring or kind of the same every day, but at least we are changing locations. Okay, first let's touch on. Like you mentioned, your husband's your coach. A lot of people want to know, how do you balance that type of relationship? Because that can be really overwhelming for some people. So, how is that? Honestly, it is sometimes. We are uh, still working on it. So, sometimes it's hard to go back and forth. You know, we try to, when we leave the pool, we try to leave the, the coach and swimmer relationship in the pool. And then going to the, the men and wife relationship outside of the pool. But we still have to practice it a little bit. Uh, Sometimes uh, Shane says to me, like, do I need to be with your husband now or my or your coach? And I was like, oh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> so sometimes it's tough. Uh, he says it's it's harder for him because he's the one who has to be demanding. Yeah. Um, but, but it's working so far and I think we are getting better at it. How did you guys meet? We met at USC. Actually, we, we swam together at USC. So we met in 2008 uh, when I went to USC. I was a freshman then. Same line. He was sharing that when you guys met at USC, you you were on like an anti-swimming phase. <laughs> so, and then all of a sudden to be here and as amazing as you are, how how did that track evolve? Uh, what was going on is that in Hungary I, I started to be a little bit overwhelmed with all this training, and uh, I, I kind of was training by myself back in Hungary, my hometown. So. USC after the Beijing Olympics, which was my big goal to make to finals, and I I was 12th actually, so I came up short and I kind of got overwhelmed and a little bit burnt out of swimming. So I got to USC and I was I was just like okay I just swim to keep my scholarship and I will be focusing on my academics and just you know go to practice but not do much. So. You know, the whole team were waiting for me. Oh my god, an Olympian is coming to the team. She's gonna be so fast. But <laughs> I was like last in the team for like the first couple of months. But then it was it was super fun to be in a team and and, and, and racing for USC and representing the university and just you know coming together as a team. So that really gave me a new perspective on the sport. Okay, lastly, you're doing a lot of things physically that the majority of people can't do. I want to zone in on your nutrition. What are you eating? What are you drinking? What is keeping you able to, to swim so many races and meets after meet? Uh, actually, I started working with a dietitian at uh, USC. So, uh, she, uh, she was great.
great and she was happy with my, my nutrition plan so uh, since then I really focusing on me trying to eat really healthy and I, I really try to watch what I put in my body because that's the food for me so what's a typical breakfast look like uh, honestly uh, I don't have much for breakfast which I know it's really bad but we try, we start the practice pretty early like 545 so I still try to eat something you know a bar or something like that but um, I would like to eat egg whites for breakfast that would be something that um, would be healthy for me and, and I like to eat but I don't I don't usually get up at five to do that all right one more thing someone told me that you really like balloons <laughs> and that you asked if you could take some balloons home from the Grand Prix meet is that true yes that is true what is the fascination with balloons? I can't believe you heard that rumor about me <laughs> it's really embarrassing but I do like balloons and I did ask for the balloons and they told me how are you going to put it on the plane because these are not just small balloons but it's like a built up balloon thing and I said we are taking a minivan to Miami so I can just take it with me <laughs> so we'll see but I think I just take one or two well good job this weekend we look Thank forward you. to your career building up to 2016 Thank you.